Good afternoon, folks. It's 12.48 p.m. on December 8th, 2019. 12.48 p.m. December 8th, 2019. This is the word for today for December 8th, 2019. The word for today. And we're going to go ahead and go to the word from last night, or rather yesterday afternoon. I was on the bus on the way home from church. So on December 7th, 2019, this is the day of infamy, the Pearl Harbor attack in 1941. So at 3.33 p.m., isn't that interesting? A 3.33 on my phone. And the word of the Lord comes to me on the bus riding home. He says, take a look at Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. I said, okay, I'll take a look at that. So let's go ahead and take a look at, again at Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. And I said, I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Amen. Okay, folks, last night at 9, 12 p.m., I'm reading my New King James Version Bible, and I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. This is Israel is shameless. Israel is shameless. This is found in Jeremiah 3, verses 1 through 5, key verses 1 and 5. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. They say if a man divorces his wife, and she goes from him and becomes another man's, may he return to her again. Would then not that land be greatly polluted? But she had played the harlot with many lovers, yet return to me, says the Lord. Lift up your eyes to desolate heights and see, for ye have not lain with men. By the road ye have set for them, like an Abraham, like an Arab, ah, like an, ah, like an Arabian in the wilderness, or Arabian in the wilderness. And you have polluted the land with your hot arteries and your wickedness. Therefore the showers have been withheld, and there has been no latter rain. You have had a harlot's forehead. You refuse to be ashamed. Will you not for this time cry to me? My father, you are the God of my youth. Will he remain angry forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, he has spoken and done evil things, as you were able. Okay, folks and family, at 9.14 p.m. on December 7, 2019, this is a call to repentance. A call to repentance. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 6 through 25. Key verses 6 through 8, 12, 14, 17, and 20, as I mark down in there. So let's go down to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 6 through 25, and also chapter 4, uh, chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. That's what I should say in there. Chapter 3, verses 6 through 25, through chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. The Lord said also to me in the days of Josiah the king, Have you seen what black backsliding Israel has done? She has gone up on every high mountain and under every green tree, and there played the harlot. And I said, After she had done all these things, return to me. But she did not return. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw that for all the causes for which backsliding Israel had committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a certificate of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear, but went and played the harlot also. So it came to pass through her casual harlotry that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and trees. And yet for all her treacherous sister Judah has not turned to me, but for her whole heart, but in pretense, says the Lord. Then the Lord said to me, Backsliding Israel has shown herself more righteous than the treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, backsliding Israel, says the Lord. I will not cause my anger to fall on you. For I am merciful, says the Lord, I will not remain angry forever. Only acknowledge your iniquity, that you have transgressed against the Lord your, Lord your God, and scattered your charms to alien deities under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. Return, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married to you. I will take you, one from the city and two from the family, and I will bring to Zion, and I will give you shepherds according to my heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. It shall come to pass... When you are multiplied, increase in the land, and those days, says the Lord, that they will say no more, the ark of the covenant of the Lord, it shall not come to mind, nor shall they remember it, nor shall they visit it, nor it shall be made any more. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, 
and all the nations shall be gathered to it, to name the Lord, to Jerusalem. No more shall they follow the dictates of their evil hearts. In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land of Gibbon as an inheritance to your fathers. But I said, How can I put you among the children and give you a pleasant land, a beautiful heritage of the host of nations? And I said, You shall call me my father. And now turn away from me. Truly as a wife treacherously departs from her husband, so have you dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, says the Lord. A voice was heard on the desolate heights, weeping and supplication of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way. They have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, you backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Indeed, we do come to you, for you are Lord our God. Truly in vain is our salvation hope for them in the hills. And from the multitude of mountains, truly the Lord of God, our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame has devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our reproach cover us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even to this day, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. If you will return to me, O Israel, says the Lord, Return to me, and if you will put away your abominations out of my sight, then you shall not be moved, and you shall swear the Lord lives in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. The nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourself to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your hearts, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lest my fury come forth like fire, and burns it, then no one can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Okay, folks and family, at 9.20 p.m., December 7, 2019, an imminent invasion. An imminent invasion. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verses 5 through 18. Key verses 5, 8, and 12. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verses 5 through 18. Declare in Judah and proclaim in Jerusalem and say, Blow the trumpet in the land, cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves. And let's go into the fortified cities. Set the standard toward Zion. Take refuge. Do not delay. For a big disaster to the north and great destruction. The lion has come up from its thicket, and the destroyer of nations is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make your land desolate. Your cities will be laid waste without inhabitant. For this, clothe yourself with sackcloth, lament and wail, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes. The priests shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, surely you have great deceived this people in Jerusalem, saying, You shall have peace, whereas the sword reaches to the heart. At that time it will be said to this people and to Jerusalem, A dry wind of desolate heights blows in the wilderness. Toward the daughter of my people, not to fan or to cleanse, a wind too strong for these will come for me. Now I also speak judgment against them. Behold, he shall come like cloud, come up like clouds, and his chariots like a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe to us, for we are plundered. O Jerusalem, wash your heart from wickedness, that you may be saved. How long shall your evil thoughts lodge within you? For a voice declares from Dan, and proclaims affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make mention to the nations. Yes, proclaim against Jerusalem, that watchers come afar from a far country, and raise her voice against the cities of Judah. Like keepers of a field, they are against her all round, because she has been rebellious against me, says the Lord. Your ways and your doings have procured, have procured, have procured these things for you. This is your wickedness, because it's bitter, because it reaches to your heart. Finally, last entry in my journal at 9.24 p.m. on December 7, 2019, Sorrow for the Doomed. Nations. Sorrow for the doomed nation. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verses 19 through 31. Key verses 12, 22 through 26. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah once more, chapter 4, verses 19 through 31. Oh, my soul, oh, my soul, my soul, I am pained in the very heart. My heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace. Because you have heard, all oh, my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. 
destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is plundered, suddenly my tents are plundered, and my curtains in a moment. How long will I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people are foolish, they have not known me, they are silly children, and they have no understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and indeed it was, without form and void, and the heavens they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and indeed they trembled, and all the hills moved back and forth. I beheld, and indeed there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. I beheld, and indeed the fruitful land was a wilderness, and all the cities were broken down at the presence of the Lord by his fierce anger. For thus says the Lord, The whole land shall be desolate, yet I will not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens be above be black, because I have spoken. I have purposed and will not relent, nor will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee from the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into the thickets and climb up on the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man shall dwell in it. But when you are plundered, what will you do? Though you clothe yourself with crimson, Though you adorn yourself with ornaments of gold, though you enlarge your eyes with paint, in vain you will make yourself fair. Your lovers will despise you, they will seek your life. For I have heard as a voice of a woman in labor, the anguish of her who brings forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, bewailing herself. She spreads her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary, because of murderers. Okay, folks and family, thank you for your 12 minutes of time. This is the word for today, for December 8th, 2019. The word for today, December 8th, 2019. Everyone have a great day. Have a blessed, wonderful day, a blessed week. I will talk to you on the next video upload. God bless you in everything you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, very soon. Very critical time. This is your day of decision making. Your decision to come to the Father through the Son to get saved. Jesus will accept you as you are, faults and all. It doesn't matter what you did or what you said. He will accept you as you are. Thank you, folks, for your time. Have a great, wonderful, blessed week. I'll talk to you later. I love you all very much. Bye-bye for now.